I'm so sorry that happened to you. Uh, let's talk about more about, you said it's really impacted your family. So I know it's divided your family on a wide level, but it also has affected your immediate family, your younger daughter. Yes. Because of your speaking out against R. Kelly, is that what the, you think the cause of her bullying is? Talk to me about that. Yes, actually, you know, my, my daughter um, been going to this school um, for approximately maybe a year and a half, almost two years. And, you know, I would tell her, don't tell people, you know, who you can to and, and things of that nature. You know, it's not a bragging right. It's not, this is not nothing you try to get points off of. You go to school to get an education and you mind your business and you, and you, and you, you know, you stay to yourself. And, but a lot of other kids seen me before, probably in her home, mm -hmm. visiting her that went to school and they seen me on the news. So of course, the, you know, the word of mouth starts spreading as far as who I was and who I was related to. And they was able to put two and two together to see who my daughter was related to. So, of course, that got back to the school. Um, it got back to the principal, the teachers, uh, her peers and things of that nature. And they was treating her different. You know, the only thing that I can think of is I don't know if it's something that my brother may have done or or you know, it's something that happened in the media that they, whether, whether they was angry at him and took it out on my daughter or if they was angry at me for speaking out because they're a fan. So she was bullied, you said? She was bullied by several kids. I mean, they, they told her, you know, a couple of kids told her that, that her daddy, me, I was the molester. I was the guy in the videotape, you know. A lot of things went back and stand back to 2008 and things that they heard and probably their parents talking about. And my daughter just stood up and said, my, my father is not a molester. He's not, he's a good person. He's, you know, she just stood up for me and spoke the truth. Let's be clear about this. On the record, you were not the man in that video. Dave. I was not the man in that video. Not at all. Uh, and then did you take your concerns about bullying of your daughter to the school yes. officials? Yes, yes, I did. What happened with that? Um, I, took, I took that, me and, me and her mom, Tiara Jones, we actually took that to the school and we let them know like, hey, you know, we need to sit down with these other kids' parents and do it right, you know, and have y'all as the mediator so they can know what's going on with their kids and how they behave in that school. And how is that? That never happened. Never happened. That meeting never happened. Um, and instead, some you say false allegations or, or accusations were made about your daughter wanting to, quote, shoot up the school, right? Right. Before that, like the same kids who had been bullying her and they was never reprimanded, nothing never happened behind that. Uh, these are the same kids that prank, they did a prank on social media saying that my daughter was going to shoot the school up. And... And then the guy, after he's seen all the investigations from the police and different things of that nature, and they shut the school down, I guess he felt bad. So he went back on post on social media, on Snapchat, and he said that Kira didn't have anything to do with this. And they still went forward with suspending her. They still went forth with a full investigation and things of that nature. And nothing happened to this child that actually put the word out there that that the school was going to be shot up. That must have been hurtful. It, 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 and, and it still is. So I know she's out of school now. What about accusations levied against you? Who's making them? Right now, you know, I have uh, Sinethia Full of Love. That's one of my kids' moms that's, that's going around saying different things and, and coercing my daughters to say that I touched her. I touched one of my daughters. And, and it hurt me to the core because everybody that know me know that God know that I'm not like that. And I, I would take a lot of tech to test standing by my mama grave. And what show are you going on to, to try to mend fences? The name of it again? I don't know it. Ayana Fix My Life. And you're doing that to try to bring your family back together? I'm trying to bring my family together and I'm trying to actually get answers because I know that the things that transpired and taking place I really, I really don't know what's really going on. Um, all I know is, is that my brother has a lot of influence over people, um, minds, fans, different things of that nature, even family. You know, he's being evicted from his studio on Justine. Um, the city today found, inspe inspectors found there was proof people were living there, which is, a, which is against code. Someone took out a hard drive early this morning. Um, 
what is going on? I mean, you haven't talked to him, but what are your thoughts on that, first of all, that it seems now some action is being taken, even if there are no victims yet that have, we know of that have come forward? Well, going back to the question that you asked me earlier, you know, as far as the last time I spoke with Robert was in 2008. When, once he beat that case, I called him and I said, hey, hey, man, you know, God gave you another chance. You know, God gave you another chance. And his arrogance and, and you know, and, and people not believing different things that he's accused of said, God didn't give me another chance. I gave me another chance. My money gave me another chance. That, those are the words that he said to me. And I just, I looked at the phone like, are you serious? I mean, you know, these allegations that you was accused of is very serious and for you to escape through the loophole and still get another chance, that's maybe a sign from God that you need to change your way of living, change your habits and change the uh, things that you're doing that's causing people to bring cases up on you like that. And you don't think he's changed? Not at all. He needs help. He, my brother needs psychological help. But, you know, like they say, the first step to recovery is admitting it. He won't admit it. He won't admit it. And long as he got fans and people saying, oh, I love him no matter no matter what. Uh, you know, one of, one of my, um, my partners was at a barbershop and the, the lady was speaking on Robert's behalf and saying, you know, she would still buy his music. She would still do this. OK, fine. But he asked her, he said, would you let her, your daughter that's 12 go to his concert? Would you take your daughter to his concert and leave, and leave her there? See, people is not in those shoes. And what do they say? I mean, do you? Oh ever... no, I'm not. I, I wouldn't do that. But they're they're support, and they're in support of other people's children going through things because it's not it's not affecting them and their family and their household. So you think he needs help? Do you think investigators need to continue to pursue looking into his conduct with women and children? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because I mean, long as long as this situation go away. You know, or it would die down. Like he said on social media, they should have came and got me. They should have came and did this 30 years ago. He said that on his social media page. So, I mean, a lot of people is questioning, what is he saying? If they, if they would have came and did this 30 years ago, 30 years ago, was you doing it? So, so it's like a lot of different things that he, you know, he's, he's, he's a power freak. He's a control freak. If, if he can't control the situation, he's going to... He, he, he's going to try to maneuver or, or do something. He has to come face to face with his demons because a lot of people out there that's saying what they're saying, I, I just don't believe they're lying. And at the end of the day, this is my mama's legacy. A lot of people think that we was raised like this. We wasn't raised like this. We was raised to respect women, respect our elders, respect people, treat people how we want to be treated. So it's like her legacy died with her. And uh, that's why I'm speaking. I was gonna, that was going to be my last question. And do you regret, but you kind of just answered it, do you regret taking part in surviving R. Kelly? No, I don't. Because I'm still surviving R. Kelly. You know, I got to look over my shoulders. I got to, you know, it's, it's just different things that I have to do. I, I'm not speaking to my family. Some of my family members, some of my family members not speaking to me. You know, so, I mean, it's... it's it's a life-changing situation that's going on. And, and, and at the end of the day, I pray for my brother because that's still my mama's child. I, a person can't, I, see, I love my mama, Joanne Kelly. I can't say that I love her without loving her seed, but her seed is a bad seed. I'm so sorry. What else would you like to add? I mean, I'm I would sorry like that to you say, have to I would like this. to say too that, you know, my, I, I have a, a daughter mom in Cleveland, Ohio, that's saying things. Her name is Andrea Woodard. And, and, and basically, you know, Andrea Woodard and Sinethia Full of Love is actually coming together 18 years later saying that I've done something. Why? Because I'm speaking the truth on R. Kelly. See, these people, even though they're my kid's mom, they are fans of his and always been. Um, so I'm just trying to understand if something happened to your child, Dana, and you knew about it, would you wait? to report this to your child if your child came to you and told you this is what happened to her and her father is the one that did this. It don't make sense. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Uh, well, I hope you can get through that. And I, I mean, it just seems to me, um, well, it doesn't really seem anything. I just think it's really, really sad and I'm sorry for you. And I hope... <laughs> 
that these false accusations get worked out. Oh, they will because God, he sits high and he look low and he know everything. Are you think, do you think that there, is this recent and is it because of surviving R. Kelly or did they start making these accusations or coming together to make this accusation before the documentary? Well, to be honest with you, I just found out the other day because I actually spoke to the auntie, um, the auntie Dorothy Full of Love. Mm -hmm. This is their mom's sister. And she don't believe these allegations because she watched me raise my kids. She watched me raise her kids. She left me with her kids. Mm -hmm. These are people that trusted me. And so, you know, she just informed me yesterday that, hey, you know, they, they've been saying this for a few years amongst the family. That but you there's, that I supposed to have one of your own. I daughters. tried to molest my, my daughter. I tried to molest her. Um, and so she was like, I'm just now hearing this by her being the auntie. So it didn't make sense because. Like, see, like my sister never told me this. Mm -hmm. my, my, my mama didn't know about it. So now it's like they've been saying it amongst each other. And then now since the surviving R. Kelly thing came out, this is this is what they're trying to put out there. And you and I just want to ask you again, because that's a serious allegation. But you're saying, no, there's no way that happened. There's no way. No way. I have raised other people, kids. That's not mine. Daughters, sons. You never did anything inappropriate. Never did anything inappropriate. Okay. I, I didn't even let my daughters. You know how little girls are coming. You know, I'm, I'm daddy. Mm -hmm. They're coming. They'll try to sit on your lap. I'm, no, you don't sit on my lap. You mm -hmm. sit right here. Mm -hmm. That's just me. That's how I, I was raised, especially knowing what happened to me as a child. Mm -hmm. I would never put nobody else's child through that mm -hmm. same agony and pain, especially mine.